Hi everyone, my name is King IV and this is Introduction to Tableau Basics. This is the second lesson of a series of seven lessons. And it's important that you watch the first lesson because we'll be continuing on from the first lesson. I'll include a link in the description below on where we left off in the first lesson. So this is the first lesson. This is right after the first lesson. So we've imported the data. And what I'm going to show you is really three quick charts and multiple ways on how to create those charts. And these are very classic visualizations that were, are known and can be done in, in Excel as well. But I'll show you the interactivity that can be created in Tableau. So let's get started. So one way of creating a chart is to click click on, we can click on sales. We're going to click control, hit control. Or we're going to hold control and click on profit and then click on order ID. So you should have these three items highlighted. And then we can go here to the right hand side and it'll show you the charts that are available. So we're going to click on scatter plot. And then what you'll see here, it's create a scatter plot of sales and profit. And based off the each circle represents a different order ID. So if I want to clear the chart, I'm going to click on this clear sheet. Another way to do it is double click, double click, and then double click. And then what you'll notice is that, uh, yeah. So then you can also invert the chart using this swap function. So another way of doing it is to drag sales, drag profit to row, and then drag order ID to the graph or drag it to details. So we're going to leave it as this. So make sure that your sales is on the x-axis and your profit is on the y-axis so or you can follow the columns and rows if it's opposite then just flip it so that's good so this is interesting so it shows you all the different sales so what you can clearly clearly see is, is there's one order id that's ninety-five thousand dollars in pro uh, in sales and twenty-eight thousand dollars in profit and what you'll see here is that there's this one sale with almost twenty thousand dollars worth of profit but negative almost negative fifteen thousand dollars worth of profit so definitely really concerning and you maybe you want to provide a little bit more context like you want to understand like what are these products and what are what are these different items so what we're going to do here is we're going to drag product category to color and then what you'll see here it pro instantly provides some context to to the data so what you'll see here is that if you click here as long as this is highlighted clicked on what you'll see here is you can see the different orders that are available and right now it's always going to do it in like back to front based off of highest to lowest so for example if I want technology to be up the front and I can just move it to the top so really useful way and say I don't I didn't like these colors I like different colors so we can do is edit color and then you can use different color palettes so you can either click another color palette let's say let's go traffic light and click assign then it's going to auto assign it vertically based off of alphabetical order. So it's gonna go down the chart and then go down the second row, or you could manually update it yourself by clicking the, the area and then clicking whatever color you want. Um, in this case, we're just gonna leave it alone. So that's, so that's creating a scatter plot. So we're gonna call this sales versus profits. So really quick and easy way, scatter plot allows you to measure the relationship of a variable on multiple dimensions. So very classic chart to use. So we're going to create another chart. And what we're going to do here is we're going to create a bar chart, very simple bar chart. So what we're going to do here is we're going to drag region to column and then drag sales, uh, drag sales to row. And then what you'll see here is you can clearly tell that central has the most sales while south has the least. Another easy way of seeing it is this is go to the sales axis or the y axis and then click on this item and then it'll order uh, highest to lowest. And maybe you want to provide a little bit more context to this data. And one way of doing so, very similar to uh, the scatter plot, let's drag product container to color. And then what you'll see here is you can easily see how, this is what we call creating a stack bar chart, how central breaks down its sales uh, between the different product categories. 
that are, are available. Another method you could have done is drag product category to the columns before region. And then what you'll see here is it compares each of the product categories by region. If you were flipping the other way around, it'd be compare the regions uh, by like compare the yeah compare the different product categories by region. But we're gonna leave it as a stacked color bar chart. So we're gonna call this regional sales. So pretty quick and easy way of creating these charts. We're gonna go to our third, we're gonna create a new tab, third one. You can also click on worksheet up here or press control M to create a new worksheet. And what we're gonna create now is called a time series line chart. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna drag order date to column. And what you'll see here, it automatically put order date by year, but there's many options here. So these first ones are similar to uh, like uh, groupings. So you can either group it by quarter, group it by month, group it by day, or group it by weekday, or week, week number, or week, weekday, or you can group it by year, quarter and year, month and year, week and year. So I'll show you what those will look like. Um, so what we're gonna do here is we're gonna drag profit to row, and then what you see here is the profitability by year. And what you're gonna do here is you can, if you group it by month, you can see the profitability by month over those four years, or you can go to the second month, which is gonna show you all the different values that are available. So uh, it's very interesting, can show you a lot of de different details. And then what we're gonna do here is again, similar to the last chart, we're gonna put in, let's do order priority. We're gonna put an order priority, and then you can see the different order priorities of, of profits over time. So you can see in some areas, uh, order profitability, order priority was, uh, the profitability was actually negative for some order priorities for some months. So really interesting to see and to uh, look at your chart. Another, uh, and that's a, that's a really, uh, what we call a time series chart. So we're gonna go, we're gonna call it profits over time. So that's the basics of Tableau charts. And in the next lesson, we'll be covering dashboards. And hopefully you're able to follow along, pause the video, try it yourself, rewind it, play it again, and make sure that you understand uh, what's hap actually happening and how to actually create these charts. So look forward to talking to you in the next lesson. Thank you. Bye.